Yes, it is time. It is time to migrate from shared hosting. And you always know when it's time because you'll notice that your website is now getting sluggish. Your provider is getting more customers and they're probably not improving on their server speed. They're not adding more servers to accommodate more customers. So I want to start by saying that you should not be afraid of migrating. It will be a bit challenging, especially if you're completely new to this. But just dive head in and in no time, you'll be able to set up and manage your own server. And if you need a full guide, a step-by-step -step guide, that's one of the things that I do for you guys. If you need a step-by-step -step guide, just let me know and I'll be able to set up one. But at the same time, I have various tutorials that will guide you in that direction. I already have various tutorials for different control panels. So let's get into it. If you want to migrate from shared hosting, what should you do or what should you expect? The first thing is you need to use a control panel. Okay. And of course, you want to go with a free control panel. I'm not going to inundate you with a lot of options because there are lots of options. I'm only going to give you two options and I would suggest you pick from one and I'll tell you the one that I suggest the most for you. So the first option is Hestia CP, which is a free control panel, very reliable, very lightweight as well. The second one is Cyber Panel and Cyber Panel is also free and reliable and lightweight at the same time. So what's the difference between these two? Hestia CP uses Apache nginx reverse proxy setup that is one alternative or the next alternative which i would suggest for you is nginx and php fpm that is just a purely nginx server and that's the one you should go with because it will be able to handle more weight and it will be able to serve more websites serve more users as for cyber panel cyber panel uses lightspeed or open lightspeed so there's a difference between Lightspeed and Open Lightspeed. Lightspeed or Lightspeed Enterprise is a paid server. If you get it for free, you can only host one website. But if you go with Open Lightspeed, which is the default option in Cyber Panel, then you don't need to pay anything. That's free. And you can host as many websites as you need to with Cyber Panel Open Lightspeed. So that's the major difference between Cyber Panel and Lightspeed. Uh, Cyber Panel and HTCP. These are the only options that I'm recommending to you as a beginner. Just go with my instinct and go with either Cyber Panel or HTACP. And the next thing you're going to need is hosting. So of course you need a VPS to run your HTACP or to run your Cyber Panel. And some of the options I can recommend. Uh, let's start with one which is usually called the cheapest VPS. And that is Contabo. Contabo is a German company, a German hosting company. You can get a VPS from here, Cloud VPS. When you come here, I would suggest you always stick with NVMe because, because if you're hosting WordPress, WordPress is a write intensive process and NVMe is much faster. So always go with NVMe option when you're buying your server. So to buy a server from Contabo, for example, You'll just select the option you want to use. So I'll just continue with the VPS 10 that, that I'd earlier selected. All right. So when you get here, you can select your data center. You can see if you're in a different region and you want your data center in that specific region, there might be an additional cost. Bear that in mind when you select your server. And storage type, you can see SSD or NVMe, as I said, go with NVMe. And then the image. So for Hestia, Hestia CP supports Debian and Ubuntu. So if you come here, if you come here, you can go with Ubuntu. And at this stage, I believe Ubuntu 24 is supported on Cyber Panel. And, and that's the one you should go with. Cyber Panel does not support Debian, which is what I usually recommend. So if you click there on OS, you can go with Ubuntu 22.04 or you can go with Debian. I always recommend Debian. So go with the latest Debian. If you're going to use HTCP, that is, go with the latest Debian. 
and for cyber panel cyber panel supports alma linux as well so you can come here and figure out just search for cyber panel installation and it's going to show you the supported oss once you do that you can buy from there all the other options you can leave them at default now for hetzner hetzner I can't show you here, but I can just show you the prices for the servers. But I do have a video. I do have lots of videos for Hetzner tutorials. So here you can get a shared CPU, shared AMD servers. Oh, these are VPSs, right? Just sharing the resources. And these are the ones you go with. They're okay to use, even though it says shared. Hetzner is a very reliable German company as well. You can get your servers from here. I will add a link for Hetzner in the description below and you can get 20 euros of free credit if you're new to Hetzner. And I suggest if you have a PayPal, try paying with PayPal because Hetzner sometimes will reject your account. If you're in North America, I would suggest to use Valtra because Valtra is an American company. You can go with this because as long as you add your credit card or your PayPal, either your method of payment uh, they will not have any questions for you. So if you use my Valtra link in the description, it's going to give you $300 of free credit. But based on resources, you get more resources on Hetzner and Contabo. So the two that I recommend as a beginner that are easy to use, the support, there's a wide support for this. The community for CyberPanel and HTCP is very helpful. They can help you when you're stuck. And even me, if you ask me questions on YouTube, you can get answers from me and the one that i recommend as a beginner that will give you less problems that is more stable is hstcp and as i said if you want to install hstcp go with the nginx and php fpm setup so if i click there on install on hstcp so to install it you'll run that first of all run that on your server and then don't run this for now you need to customize what you want to install. So first thing, you'll ch change the port. Make sure you change this port. Then you can change your username. This is the default admin username. So this is a very secure feature that was added recently in HSTCP so that all installations can have a different admin user. I do have an installation video for HSTCP. So I'll link to that in the description. And then you'll need to uncheck Apache. Apache uses more resources. That's why I'm telling you to stick with Nginx and PHP FPM. The rest, you can leave them as they are, right? MariaDB, Exim. So since you have a small server, probably Spam Assassin, you can disable that. The rest, you leave them as they are. And then you run whatever you get from here on your server once you log in. So if you do need a step-by-step -step guide, just let me know. This is something that for me, it's quite easy to do, but for you as a beginner, it might be challenging. So if you need a step-by-step -step guide, let me know. If you want to migrate from shared hosting to a VPS and you need a step-by-step -step guide, just let me know and I'll set up one for you. I can actually create two videos, one for HTCP and another one for cyber panel. And I'll show you how to migrate a full length video. It could be, it could be maybe two hours, do a full length video, how to set up the server install the control panel and migrate everything including setting up the dns all right that's it i just wanted to give you an idea if you are thinking about moving from a shared hosting environment maybe you've outgrown your shared hosting and you want to move to a vps if you have any questions you have any suggestions and you have the requests for the full tutorial video let me know and i will create one and a lot of people, I have to get enough people requesting for it for me to create it because I don't want to create videos that people don't watch. And you can look at my channel. There are some useful videos I've created that don't have views. So if you want this video, let me know in the comment section and I'll create it for you. And if you have questions, feel free to reach out. That's it. Until next time.